Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair Book. You know what time it is. Listen, we'll talk to you guys about Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams. I think it's time we have one of these really good conversations about friend or foe. How does a friend behave? Because Dave Chappelle literally called out Cat Williams the other day, speaking about how he felt like Cat Williams was painting an ugly picture. But did he lie though? In amongst that, you know Cat Williams has been controversial and has gone global breaking records on Club Shay Shay with uh, YouTube views reaching about 50, I think 51, 52 million now, a few more before he catches up Joe Rogan. But the crazy thing about it is the conversation that was spoken about by Cat Williams was about in response to some of the things that the comedians who had come on here previously on Club Shay Shay had said about Cat Williams, which he then addresses. Um, and he said a few other things in amongst that. Now, Dave Chappelle has come out on his um, particular uh, platform when he was uh, performing and spoke about the Cat Williams situation. My key question I want to ask at this particular moment is mindset. The next few weeks, we're going to be talking about this key word, mindset. What mindset is it that you're in that when you are supposedly meant to be a friend or somebody who cares about the other person or somebody who says that they are cool with the other person, how do you address that particular situation? I think it's very clear. Cat Williams wasn't calling Ricky Smiley and, the, and Cedric the Entertainer and all the other peers that he has as friends. He was calling them out because he felt like they were doing something that he didn't particularly like. He felt like they were taking some of the jokes. He felt like they weren't being original. He felt like they weren't actually living up to par, right? So it wasn't a friendship based on Cat Williams' side, but I thought Dave Chappelle had a great relationship with Cat Williams. And so this response by Dave actually has resulted in the audience actually coming at Dave. And let me tell you something, it takes a lot for the audience to want to come at Dave, especially when he did a whole special not long ago about trans people and everybody backed Dave in that situation. To come and find out now that people are now against Dave, against, for, against Dave for Cat, why has the audience switched and turned over? Again, it comes back to mindset. If you say you're cool with me and, and, you know, and you say you know, a couple of things that Dave said, I'm gonna read out his statement in a second or two, and you say what you say, of course the audience is gonna turn against you. You look like you're traitoring, you look like an enemy, you look like an enemy of progress, and you look like somebody who really isn't the friend of Cat Williams. So let's have a little talk about that in the next few minutes. But before we do, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification of the uploads. We have a membership to support the channel. It's a pound, a dollar. If you love the content, um, we love for you guys to join in. It's a pound, a dollar. Our membership lives will be back next week. Um, also, as well, we really want to appreciate the fact that you guys are supporting and leaving comments down below. Please, if you love the content, leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts, different thoughts and opinions always help us grow on this channel we also have a patreon down below in the description box so if you love reality tv and tv shows you want to discuss that go there and also as well I want to talk uh, that we have great merchandise out there as well join the mineral gang yeah for those of you who are returnees you already know what it is baby you got the minerals you got the minerals stay hydrated because squeeze out their heart let's get into this uh video talking about the cat williams situation i want to just uh, make this slightly bigger um you know so we can uh let me just do this so we can make this there we go okay so uh says um uh, a, a month continues cat williams viral interview with shannon sharp continues to spark conversation and folks continue to give their opinion w one of the latest to speak out about the situation is none other than dave chappelle According to Variety, over the weekend, videos of Dave on stage at D-Ray Davis Monterey's at Hollywood Improv made their rounds on social media as he shared his thoughts. In the videos, he can be heard saying, what part of the game is this? He only ethered niggas. <laughs> uh, he didn't say anything about any of the, those these white boys. None of these white boys function like that. Kat is one of the best painters in the game, so why are you drawing ugly pictures of us? I mean, he can, I mean, Dave, I mean, you, Dave. Dave also said, uh, hurt people, uh, hurt people, but I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. F this one and F that one and F this one. But I didn't hear anything that you did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong, cat. Okay, let me uh, do this so I can uh, go there because uh, there's a little bit more of that as well. Okay. Um. Cat was talking uh, uh, that uh, N-word N uh, did to other N-word, but not about anything that N-word uh, did to him. During his time on stage, Dave made it clear that he's cool with Cat Williams, but just questioned why he called out a list of their peers. As previously reported, some of the names mentioned during Cat Williams' interview included Cedric Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Rick Smiley, Kevin Hart, T Tiffany Haddish, and more. Okay, cool. Let's talk about this, right? 
let's talk about this. I do think that Deshaun has one or two points that are actually really clear, right? I think he has some some good points that are important. And I think that, you know, we have to consider those things. One of the points I think are important to consider is when he describes and says, okay, look, did Clap Williams talk about what he did wrong? He didn't. He didn't talk about what necessarily he did wrong and some accountability in terms of what he did to other people. I didn't really hear that, right? That's one point. Second thing, did Cat Williams talk about the things that were done to him? I thought he did. So other than that, that was the only point I felt like Dave Chappelle was actually really um, on point with. I think uh, other thing aspects, though, for me was mindset again. As a friend, as someone who cares about Cat Williams or someone who likes Cat Williams, you said, I'm expecting you maybe to go behind the scenes and address this then because you're not beefing him. Right? He's not beefing you. He actually said you in a good light. He never said anything negative about you. Right? So I'd expect him to go behind the scenes. Why join the crowd of noise speaking against Cat Williams? Now it's giving that you're kind of joining the pack of wolves that were against Cat Williams to attack him. No matter how you address it, with questions or the way you're addressing it, politely, quote my, what I might say, right? Number two, I want to say mindset of drawing these ugly pictures, as he says. Well, it's an ugly situation. If you're, if you're mo mocking me and taking the mick out of me and I feel like you're not actually living up to the craft, it's going to be an ugly picture. It's never going to be a clean one. So really and truly, that's going to be part of the issue. Um, I think also uh, one of the things to also say is that I would have thought that he would have stayed out of the situation and showed allegiance to the uh, just staying out of the situation to show allegiance to nobody rather than commenting and saying something. Because once you say something, now you choose a side. OK, and it felt a little bit gaslightery and revisionist in history, because why are you stopping the original? In, why are you not stopping the original infringement infringement when the other comedians were coming out and saying stuff about cat? Why didn't you jump in then? You didn't jump in and say, hey, we should leave it alone. Could we just be talking about other peers? We should be talking about other people. Instead, we're talking about cat because he blew up. We're talking about cat because he got 52 million views and it went global. That's why we're talking about Kat. And it's not, you're not talking about the other comedians that came on the show before him and were saying other things and other, other interviews apart from that. Okay? All right? I hate when we start, you know, saying about we didn't support the white folk. Well, it wasn't white folk or white comedians that were talking about Kat. If it was, I'm sure he would have addressed it. If white comedians were talking about Kat, I'm sure he would have addressed it and said, hey, this person's talking against me. He going to get some smoke too. I'm sure he would have. Right? So... Um, that's why he never mentioned the white comedian. So that, that feels a little bit like it's a false equivalent to bring up to the table. Um, and so for me, I just feel like, you know, this would have been a great time for Dave Chappelle just to just keep quiet. You know, don't, don't mention it if you know you're going to choose an allegiance and then say, I'm really, really cool with you. It's, it's not given. You know, I'm really, really cool with you, but I'm going to comment and make, uh, choose a side, inadvertently choose a side by making this comment. That, that ain't it. All right, so... Anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. Do you think that mindset, I mean, this is a friendship mindset, you know, as friends, this is what you meant to cover each other, you know? Uh, love covers a multitude of sins, as they say. So this was, it felt a little bit like it was being exposed a little bit rather than actually being covered by Dave Chappelle. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Love to hear. Little black, you know what time it is. Time it is.